It's always good to begin the day with thoughts of goodwill. Goodwill for yourself, goodwill for others. And to think about what goodwill means. Some people see it as a soft quality. We're just gentle and kind with other people. But it's interesting to note that in the forest tradition, it's definitely seen as a strength and as a protection. The Buddha himself talks about how it protects you against all kinds of bad things. Bad karma coming in from the past is weakened if you have universal goodwill. In the cases in the Ken where people spread goodwill to have beings go away, there was a case where some monks were in the forest and they were harassed by spirits and snakes and other things. And so the Buddha told them, and spread goodwill to all the snakes. Spread goodwill to all the spirits, and they'll leave you alone. And when you think of what goodwill means, it doesn't mean just may you be happy doing what you're already doing. If someone is doing something unskillful, goodwill means may you see the error of your ways and voluntarily change. So it's not just a meek acceptance of things. It's seeing what really is in people's best interest. And the best interest of all of us, all around, is for us not to harm one another. So see goodwill as a strength and as a protection. And it protects you against things outside, and also protects you against unskillful things coming up in the mind right now. Sometimes people say other people don't deserve their goodwill. That's like saying, well, you don't deserve your own goodwill. It's through goodwill that we can guarantee that our actions will not be intended to harm anyone. That's how we protect ourselves from our own unskillful intentions. That's probably the most important thing we need to be protected from. So foster thoughts of goodwill in the beginning of the day, at the end of the day, as you go through the day. That way you can live in the world in a position of strength.